How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and people, and boys and girls, and others? I am the professor, Professor Julius Sumner Miller, whose principal business is physics, and some more forthwith, which cometh from this old and ancient place. We have explored the stopper with the pin, and the stopper with the pin and the forks, and the question arises, does it need something like this to support it? No, indeed. There is the pin. There is the pin. And it is very stable. It is very stable. It is very stable. And I just love that. It will not tip off. Indeed, I'll make it even worse. And it will not tip off. <laughs> there it is. And I'm going to make it even worse. And it will not tip off. And I think that's wonderful. But more on this Tower of Pisa, wherein arises a paradox. You see, the plumb line from the center of gravity falls inside the base. I'm going to add a slender bit. And I have raised the center of gravity and shifted the plumb line to the right. Now one would expect, as before, that if I add another sliver, I raise the center of gravity and shift the plumb line to the right. Ho ho! I am a deceptive creature. Watch it! Ha ha! I did raise the center of gravity, but I shifted the plumb line to my right, your left. Now, what you all expected me to do was to put it on symmetrically. And that would have been the downfall of the tower. As you well know. And here is a better example of it. Likened exactly to the Tower of Pisa. Here it is. And if I raise the center of gravity, shift the plumb line outside the base, it will most certainly tip over. And I have a question to pose for you. Some of you of a bright and sharpened mind might give contemplation and thinking to the question of the real Tower of Pisa in Pisa, Italia, because it is on the verge of disaster. It may indeed tip over any time. And all the great minds of the world have given it their attention to save it from collapse. Perhaps you have an idea. Let me go back to Mr. Newton the first law of motion. And this is to be likened to your affairs when riding in an automobile. Here is a little vehicle, and here is a person in the vehicle. We'll imagine that the vehicle is at rest at a light signal and starts up suddenly. You know that your head is jerked back. Watch it. Uh-huh. What I said was wrong. The head is not jerked back. The head stays still, and the body is pushed forward by the back of the seat. So that so-called thing called whiplash is falsely named. The head is heavy, it stays put, and the back is pushed forward by the seat. But this is what happens clearly. Now, you know that if you are going at a rapid pace and suddenly are brought to rest, what happens? The vehicle stops, but you keep going. Proof. Watch me. There it went forward. So, here is a beautiful elementary example of Newton's first law in its several parts. Now, another very dramatic thing. I wish to show you how highly elastic water is. Uh, correction how highly elast elastic glass is, and how highly incompressible is water. For this purpose, I have a flask, narrow-sided, in which resides a one-hole stopper and a small bore tube. Now, the water in it has been colored with food coloring so that it looks pretty, and you see pretty is a pleasant thing for the spirit. And I say that if I squeeze this glass, and we watch closely the level of the water, it goes up. There it is. I can bring it up above the top, in fact. There it is. Question, what will happen if I squeeze the narrow sides of the glass? About this, we shall explore some on a later program 
and I thank you for watching.